Hello, this is Alkesh. Uh, welcome to another VFX uh, walkthrough. Um, this time I'm going to bring this um, steam engine on the tracks uh, in the station in my town. Um, so the engine is uh, made uh, with polygons in Maya and the rigging and the animation is also done in Maya. Um, the lighting and reflection that you see uh, of the engine was in Maya using mental rays uh, image based lighting. Um, this is done in Maya 2016. Um, <clears throat> the backplate is um, a, uh, an Ultra HD file actually through uh, iPhone 12 Pro, uh, but I downsampled it to uh, HD for the entire uh, pipeline. Um, let's see, uh, the steam that you see and the smoke um, are in uh, 3D uh, particle uh, effects in fusion. Um, and the location of the steam as it's tracking um, along the engine is using alembic cache file from uh, Maya. I created small objects to um, um, follow the uh, those locations uh, in Maya and then brought them into um, uh, Fusion. So we'll talk about that. Um, let's see um, the names uh, name signs that you see uh, one coming up right here. Uh, this Moritzburg sign. Um, I uh, simply did the tracking of that object in uh, Synthize, where I did all of the tracking um, at the start of the project and then created a polygon plane in Maya and just put it right there where the sign is and then um, brought that into Fusion as uh, FBX file and then did the paint work and the text uh, in Fusion to uh, change the name. So we'll take a look at that. There is also another sign that um, the train passes by right there and that the same thing you know I, I had tracked this um, particular location in uh, Synthize and um, used that um, in the same way that I just described. There is also one more sign that I actually forgot about uh, right there um, and then I realized in Fusion uh, at the compositing stage that I had forgotten about that so I basically just um, um, duplicated this sign that you see near the um, right hand side and uh, it was a 3D plane anyway, uh, a polygon plane. So then I just dragged that plane into the 3D space in um, uh, Fusion uh, along the axis and it ended up right there where it should be on, the, um, on that sign. So then I created that sign again in um, Fusion. Um, let's see what else we can talk about. The light is created in Fusion and uh, the masking on the light that is required when the train actually passes by the camera. So you see here that um, the back end of the light should not be visible and that masking which is the structure in the back of this light is actually a polygon structure in Maya but I brought it into Fusion um, as an FBX, um, no sorry, as LMB cache because it's moving um, and use that uh, to create the mask. I already had the um, camera inside of Fusion anyway which came from Synthize um, and therefore it was very easy to track um, the mask right where it should be. Um, let's see what else uh, we can talk about. There was a car crossing over right here and I had to remove that car uh, in uh, uh, Fusion. So we'll uh, take a look at that. Although I have done uh, one tutorial on how to remove cars, you know, um, in my um, on my channel. So you may have seen that. Um, and I put that small gate here. Um, there is a gate here that is uh, vertical, but I didn't do anything with it. Just created one gate in um, Maya and brought it into um, a Fusion as a, a 3D object. Um, the sound effect, yeah, let's talk about the sound effect. So you see uh, the whistle that, or here, the whistle that is coming right here. And then one more there. And, and when it whistles, you see the timing of that because there's a puff of uh, steam that is released at the top of the engine. Now, the sound of, um, of that whistle, uh, I'll show you, uh, let me turn on my webcam. That is using this... Um, um, wooden uh, whistle that I bought in uh, New Jersey I think uh, it sounds pretty cool 
So that's how I uh, I created that sound. Um, and the interesting thing is uh, the chugging sound that you hear right there. That is just me using my hand as I used to do as a kid. So just like that, and I recorded on my cell phone and brought the um, the file in um, uh, in in the uh, com um, in Da Vinci. And there is one more sound that you hear. This is the release of the um, steam right there. Yeah. So that sound. Um, it's pretty interesting how I brought that in. Um, it was just this. Uh, pressure cooker you know in my kitchen and uh, it was just about to blow the uh, whistle and I took out my uh, camera and uh, my phone and uh, started recording the video I mean I didn't need the video I just needed the sound but um, yeah so that's where you know that sound came um, yeah so what we'll do is uh, we'll walk through the entire process uh, of how the shot came together um, let me bring a slide that I had um, done. Let me uh, turn off the webcam first. Yeah. So this slide um, that I have, um, we will look at the backplate um, tracking in uh, Synthize. Then we'll go into animation, rigging and modeling work in Maya, compositing in Fusion. And here we'll do both the 2D compositing and 3D compositing. And once everything is done, it will output images uh, that we'll use in um, DaVinci Resolve with the sound um, so that we can finish the, uh, the shot. That's the process. So in the next video, I'm going to cut this into small pieces. In the next video, we'll uh, look at the backplate and the tracking, uh, and then we'll go from there. Thanks.